I'm sure you know Bluey, the children's cartoon that is sweeping the world. But what you might not know is that Bluey is made and set here in Brisbane. And it's actually a really accurate reflection of what life is like in this city. So I decided I'd test that out by setting myself a challenge. And the challenge is based on an episode of Bluey where Bluey's father wants to get a pizza oven so they go to a store called Hammer Barn. Now Hammermart is actually based on a real life store here in Brisbane called Bunnings. Now Bunnings is an Australian institution and if you're going to live in Brisbane, you, you're bound to visit Bunnings at some time. In the Bluey episode, they buy a bunch of things in Hammer Barn. I'm going to see if I can find those same things in Bunnings to see how much Bluey's Hammer Barn actually mirrors the real life Bunnings here in Brisbane. And just to make it extra authentic, I'm going to take Buddy because the good thing about Bunnings is that you are allowed to take dogs. Now the regulations do say, however, that a dog needs to either be muzzled and I'm not going to put a muzzle on Buddy or secured in a trolley. I'm not actually sure how that's going to go because Buddy's never actually been in a trolley. So he may be into it. He may not. But you know, he's just going to be happy to be out because he loves to go out. He gets so excited. So let's go do it. Hey buddy, come on. Come here. Your head doesn't go in there, so it's silly. You gonna go in the car? Here we are. Since Buddy had never ridden in a trolley, I thought I'd just take him around in the car park back and forth a few times to see if he'd get used to it and feel more comfortable. Even after a while, he still seemed a little bit tense, so I didn't want to put him through that. So Buddy wasn't really a fan of the trolley, so I, I didn't think I'd put him through trying to make the video with him. So we're actually going to head home, then I'll come back to Bunnings and give it a go without Buddy. <laughs> So I actually had to come outside of Bunnings for the last thing on the list. And that's because they set up a stall for the sausage sizzle outside Bunnings. And it's actually a really important part of visiting Bunnings. This is really a big part of Brisbane culture and Australian culture as a whole, I think, that if you go to Bunnings, you're definitely going to get a sausage sandwich. And that's because those sausage sandwiches actually raise funds for charities. So the one today was for Hypersomnolence Australia. I'm going to have to Google that to see what that's actually all about. Sounds like something about oversleeping. I, that doesn't sound like a problem to me. I'm, I'm all for hope, oversleeping. But uh, yeah, so that's what this particular sausage sandwich was raising funds for. But just like in Hammer Barn in the Bluey episode, uh, where they also got sausage sandwiches, 
you can't visit Hammer Barn or Bunnings without actually grabbing one. Uh, it's just a part of the experience. Uh, so that's all of the things. I got them all off the list. Well, except for the pizza cutter, but I was never really expecting to get that. Um, but it just shows you how authentic Bluey actually is. So, hey, if you want to know about Brisbane, check out some Bluey episodes because uh, there's actually a lot of Brisbane icons in Bluey episodes. So maybe I can do a video on that. But uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if it was enjoyable in any way whatsoever. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Go ahead. Make my day. But uh, I will see you in the next video anyway.